Hello, I'm Jonathan Wallace. I'm a councillor in Gateshead, but I'm also a beekeeper. And today is the 1st of June, officially the start of summer. But at this time of year, the issue that seems to be raised most with me is by residents is bees in people's back gardens and how should people respond to them. So I put together this little video to help advise you on what you need to do. Well, the issue most raised with me about bees is bumblebee colonies. Now, I'm just, just going to talk you quickly through the life cycle of a bumblebee colony. Throughout the winter, queen bees will hibernate, typically in crevices within trees and other sheltered areas. And in the spring, they emerge, they look for somewhere to build a nest, and they set up the nest, they lay eggs, worker bees are born and the colony will live on through the summer until such point as the queen starts to lay eggs from which new queens hatch and at that point the new queens leave the colony in the late summer they will be mated by the drones which are also produced by the colonies but the colonies then die out and the queen bees then hibernate over the winter and re-emerge next year and the cycle starts all over again. Lots of us put bird boxes up in our gardens and we look forward to birds moving in and what we tend to find is that it's not birds they've moved in but it's the bees and bird boxes are ideal for bumblebee colonies and you tend to find that there's bird boxes tend to have more bumblebee colonies than birds nests in them. So how to spot the difference between bumblebees and honeybees? Well bumblebees tend to be bigger and hairier so think big fat hairy it's likely to be a bumblebee. Honeybees are slicker, smaller, they do have hairs on them particularly on their legs but they're net less noticeable. And secondly, the colonies. Honeybee colonies are fantastically busy. Often hundreds and hundreds of bees coming in every minute or so. Whereas with the bumblebees, you typically you just see a handful of bees going in and out at any individual time, any one, any one time. That's because the bumblebee colonies are so much smaller than the honeybees. As I said before, the bumblebee colonies tend to die out in the late summer once they produce the new queens for the following year. The life cycle of a honeybee colony is completely different. Effectively, that is a permanent, uh, permanent colony and it will move into a hive or into other similar places, holes in trees and in, uh, in air bricks in, in walls, that's one of their favourite places as well. But the cycle is different because it's permanent. You will have one queen in a colony and tens of thousands of worker bees, particularly through the summer. And when the colony wants to reproduce, what happens is new queen eggs are laid, queens, new queens will hatch, the strongest of those queen, new queens will kill all the other newly hatched queens and the old queen will leave the colony with half or more of the worker bees from that colony and that's your swarm. Now that's one of the key differences with bumblebee colonies because bumblebees don't swarm. Swarming with honeybees is about producing a new colony from an old one. And that's where people like myself intervene to collect, the hive, to collect the swarm and put it into a hive and set up a new colony. Generally, bumblebee colonies tend to be some distance up off the ground because that offers them more protection. So again, air bricks and bird boxes tend to be ideal for that. But again, that also means that you're less likely to uh, to be mixing with the bees as it were because they're up a height they leave the colony and they fan out to
into their foraging areas and then fly back in above your head. It would be unusual for them to leave the colony and fly straight down to the ground. So, bumblebees, just let them live out their lives, let the colony go through its cycle and it will die out in the late summer. Honeybee swarms found the council, they will be able to put you in touch with a beekeeper, they can collect the swarm. If the swarm's already moved in to set up nest in say the eaves of your house, then sadly if you're really needing to get rid of it, you have to call in an exterminator. But don't forget, they cost an awful lot of money. So make sure that it, if it's bumblebees, don't bother with the exterminator. Just let them live out their life cycle.